Hello guys welcome back in Goku Manhua let's continue. Our hero has been skillfully taking down every creature lurking in the dungeon with the assistance of Zain Xian, who possesses a unique ability that doubles the rewards. Leveraging her skill has helped him amass valuable items quickly. However, when an earth dragon appears, a creature with modest experience points but high defensive power, it proves to be a tougher opponent. Despite this, a hero overcomes the challenge swiftly, suffering minimal injuries. After the battle, the hero claims an earth gem and the heart of earth among other rewards. He shares some of the spoils with Zion Xian. So far, he has collected three powerful stones, the fire, poison, and earth stones. These will be crucial for his upcoming transformation and can boost his career advancement by 10%. But knowing this success rate is low, he realizes he needs to find more element crystals to improve his odds. Meanwhile, Zion Xian has been trying out some equipment the hero gave her. She excitedly tells him that she's gained a new ability, a physical skill called Stun, which immobilizes an enemy for 5 seconds with a 1 minute cooldown. The higher the target's level, the shorter the stun effect. Zion Xian is thrilled with this warrior-like skill, as she's long wanted something combat-oriented. She thanks the hero warmly, and he smiles, acknowledging the value of her new skill. Our hero then suggests they prepare to explore the dungeon again, this time with a cooling talisman to reset the boss encounter. After one last fight with the dungeon's master, he intends for them to exit. Zain Xian is surprised to see the talisman, recognizing its rarity, and they make their way out. However, as they step outside and reunite with their allies, Zionxian's team, plus some watchful dragons and demons, the hero is suddenly pulled back into the dungeon by the talisman's power. This re-entry surprises everyone, especially Yayu, who had been expecting a longer reprieve. She begins to wonder if they had genuinely cleared the dungeon or if an unusual force was at play. Jiang Wenxian, observing his team's concern, encourages them to remain calm. He assures them of his faith in the hero's abilities, urging everyone to trust that he and Zian Xian will return soon with even greater strength. Jiang Wenxian quickly alerts everyone to prepare for battle, suspecting that the nearby demons and dragons have likely grown wary. He realizes that when Lin exits the dungeon next, an ambush may be waiting. True to Jiang's instincts, the dragon clan, feeling provoked, is determined to launch an attack. The dragons and demons are resolute, Letting an Earth Knight rise within the human ranks is too dangerous, as this rare profession surpasses even the highest level combat roles. Following a strict directive to prevent any chance of an Earth Knight re-emerging among humans, they plan to stop Lin at any cost. Inside the dungeon, Lin and Jiang Wenxian strategize. Although Lin's powerful soldier skill is still on cooldown for another hour, he knows the boss battle will be challenging without it. He realizes that no matter how fast he moves, the dungeon structure will limit him to one boss attempt per cooldown cycle. But just as he starts to question his options, a clever strategy strikes him, he could use the environment, with earth flowers and earth fire fish around him, to create explosive traps using their elemental properties. Excited by the thought, Lin realizes that if he triggers enough chain reactions, he could clear waves of monsters efficiently. Eager to put his plan into action, Lin turns to Jiang Wenxian and asks if she's ever witnessed a speedrun dungeon clear. Jiang seems puzzled, so Lin explains he'll gather as many monsters as possible, and when the time is right, she should use her group collection ability to maximize the effect. Jiang agrees, exhilarated by the challenge, assuring Lin she's ready to follow his lead. Activating his skeleton armor and summoning an array of skeleton warriors, Lin charges forward with Jiang at his side. Before long, they've lured a massive number of monsters. Jiang is briefly overwhelmed by the sheer volume of creatures surrounding them, realizing that Lin's speed run is unlike anything she's seen. She's impressed yet daunted, as the entire area fills with the dust and chaos of the approaching enemies. With determination, Jiang begins using her group collection skill. However, she mentions that it can only handle up to 200 monsters at once. Timing her ability carefully, she successfully activates the skill, collecting the first wave of creatures, as Lin watches, ready to unleash his strategy in full force. The sheer number of monsters forces Jian Wenxian to move rapidly across different areas, repeatedly using her collection technique to gather them. 
Meanwhile, Lin continues his relentless assault, unleashing waves of soul flames and strikes with his summoned skeleton warriors. Together, their speed and coordination allow them to wipe out the monster wave within minutes. Impressed, Lin praises Jiang Wenxian for her skill, which makes her smile as she thanks him for the encouragement. Pushing forward, they clear every monster in their path until they reach a zone filled with plant creatures, an area where they'd previously encountered both plant monsters and fire fish. As they prepare for the next battle, Jian Wenzian strategizes aloud, suggesting she cast her collection spell on the leader to maximize their chances of success. Lin nods and begins dispatching his skeleton warriors to eliminate the fire fish, quickly amassing a collection of their remains with a specific purpose in mind. He plans to use these corpses strategically against the upcoming boss monster. Once they reach the boss, a formidable plant-based creature, Jiang Wenzian activates her collection spell to control the surrounding minions. Seizing the moment, Lin hurls the fire fish corpses toward the boss, triggering a massive explosion that sends shockwaves through the area. Despite having seen Lin's explosive tactics before, Jian Wenzian is still taken aback by the force of the blast, which obliterates most of the surrounding enemies in seconds. Now, she truly understands what Lin meant by speed clearing, every second counts, and with Lin's approach, no time is wasted. Jian Wenzian is further astonished when she realizes that within less than half an hour, they've already conquered over half of the dungeon's monsters. As the boss creature reels from the explosions, Lin follows up by sending his skeleton warriors to attack its vulnerable tentacles, weakening it further. Together, they press on, bringing them ever closer to achieving a record-breaking dungeon clear. The skeleton warriors continued their relentless assault, slicing through the tentacles of the massive plant creature. Within minutes, they had defeated the monster. With this threat neutralized, Lin set his sights on his ultimate target, the true boss monster. Time was running short, so he wasted no time, charging forward with a clear strategy in mind. Having studied the monster's attack patterns carefully, Lin was prepared to use every advantage, including the corpses he'd gathered from previous battles. As Lin neared the dragon boss, he launched his plan, hurling the corpses of fish and plant monsters toward it. The dragon was caught off guard, unsure of what was happening, until the corpses began to explode one by one around it. Overwhelmed by the unexpected chain of blasts, the dragon boss attempted to strike back, raising a massive paw to initiate a war trampling attack. But Lin, anticipating its move, quickly cast a curse chain, immobilizing the dragon just in time. You thought you could attack? Lin muttered. Not on my watch. And with that, the battle reached a turning point as Lin gained the upper hand. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where the story continues. What new challenges will Lin and his allies face next? Be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts on this chapter, rate it out of 20, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.